Turkey has been shelling YPG positions in Syria the last couple of days, and this has continued on Friday as well. Turkey has been discussing the, the access to uh, the airspace in Syria with Russia, uh, which controls much of the airspace at this moment, and these discussions are continuing. There was a statement made by the uh, Turkish defense minister regarding the operation. Let's listen. This operation will be conducted, and all the terror groups will be cleansed from there. The rest is just details, the steps that will be taken depending on the developments in the field. The appropriate time will be determined. It can be any time tomorrow, tonight. The operation has actually de facto started. It's important to note that though the defense minister is saying that the operation has begun, uh, we're still waiting to see when the Turkish troops will cross into Syria, uh, whether or not this is going to happen over the next couple of days. Uh, meanwhile, Turkish-backed Syrian rebels have also been deployed to the border area as part of the preparation for this operation. And it's important to know that there's a lot of reaction from some key players in the region, from the United States especially. Let's listen to a reaction from Washington, from the U.S. State Department's spokeswoman. We would call on, uh, certainly on the Turks, to not take any actions of that sort. We want <laughs> everyone there to keep their eye. I'll go back to something I said uh, when we were talking about uh, Iraq and the referendum, to keep their eye on the ball. And the focus needs to be on ISIS. So we don't want them to engage in violence, but we want them to keep focused on ISIS. Aside from the U.S., it's important to see what Russia will do, whether or not it's going to back Turkey and give access to the Syrian airspace. Now, though, on Friday, Turkish state media reported that some Russian troops have pulled back from their posts. The Syrian Observator for Human Rights have stated uh, that they have remained put, the Russian troops have remained put in Afrin. Uh, meanwhile, the Syrian government has also threatened Turkey, saying that they would shoot any Turkish warplanes in Syria. So it's going to be critical to see whether they will follow through on this threat. This is Mikhail Badweed for CGTN in Istanbul.